complaint's been filed against Governor Hickenlooper by a former foe. Now, the complaint claims the governor violated state law by accepting dozens of very expensive flights and meals and hotel rooms on somebody else's dime and trying to hide it from the public. Contact 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski is here now to explain what the complaint means and its potential impact. Well, Jackie Shannon, if the state's ethics commission says the complaints are valid and accurate, Governor Hickenlooper could be forced to repay double the cost of the gifts and accommodations he's accused of accepting. The governor essentially calling this a partisan attack by Republicans. Uh, our goal is uh, to bring this to light, to um, ensure that the public trust is being upheld, and that's, that's our goal. The newly formed Public Trust Institute has accused Governor Hickenlooper of violating state laws against accepting travel accommodations and gifts. Uh, if the governor has uh, contemporaneous proof that he paid for these things, credit card receipts, invoices, uh, then he can show those to you or to the Ethics Commission and this thing goes away. In its nearly 200 page complaint with the State Ethics Commission, the Public Trust Institute accuses Governor Hickenlooper of accepting and working to hide travel across the globe on private jets, exclusive hotel accommodations, and all expense paid events in Switzerland, Italy, and events in the United States, including the Broncos Super Bowl win in San Francisco. Frank, you're a Republican, the governor's a Democrat, how do you deal with those that say this is a partisan attack? Uh, let the actions speak for themselves. So one of the things that we found when we were uh, doing this investigation was that, was that there is a real need for somebody out there to call balls and strikes. And it's Republicans, it's Democrats. The public needs to make sure that somebody is watching because they don't have the time to do that. What should the governor take from what you're saying and what you put in these documents? So if, if he paid for them and didn't violate our Constitution, didn't have this pattern of abuse, come forward with the evidence. Don't waste the Ethics Commission's time. Make this simple. We'll withdraw the, we'll withdraw the complaint and uh, move on to the next project that, that we have. And tonight, we do know what the governor is saying about this attack. His press secretary sent this statement. It looks like the organization was created in the last few days to trump up frivolous accusations. Goes on to say they ignored the Independent Ethics Commission process by going straight to the media and concludes this is clearly a political stunt aimed at influencing the upcoming election. Now, the state's Ethics Commission now gets to decide if the complaint filed today warrants further investigation. That decision, that decision could come as soon as the end of this month. Jackie?